grew up in Chicago, Illinois, and man, I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. I'm so thankful to be from Chicago as a DJ. My dad was a serious rocker. My dad was uh, really into Led Zeppelin and Stones, and I mean, my dad, you know, he'd get paid at the end of the week and he'd go to the, to the record store and buy a couple albums and he'd spend the whole weekend just, you know, playing, you know, I mean, every cut. Yeah, reluctantly so, I played the trombone in, uh, in band. My parents decided to go on vacation for the two weeks out of the year where over the summer, uh, you get to pick what instrument you want to play. So I came back and school was about to start and they're like, yeah, we have the trombone or the flute. And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll do the trombone. And uh, I was lucky enough to be tutored under a guy that played with Herbie Hancock and the Headhunters. Uh, jazz band musician that lived in my uh, suburb. I was uh, in seventh grade and all the kids I went to, to junior high with were all about this DJ, Rockin' Raheem. There was this guy that was on a college radio station that was from New York. This guy was from New York, but he was going to school in the suburbs of Chicago. And it was a low watt FM station that used to broadcast uh, early rap. Yeah, really old school, like funk. I mean, this guy had a show and all the kids that went to my school listened to the show. And these were my homies and I was just like, yeah, what are you guys talking about? And I, I just started tuning into the show and I mean, the rest is history. It's like I got sucked up into it and I mean, yeah, that, I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for the radio. The radio, like, the first experiences I try not to remember because, <laughs> I don't know, to be a DJ, it's like you kind of throw yourself out there before maybe you're a good beat mixer and I loved the music and I had friends of mine that were doing college fraternity parties and they'd let me jump on every once in a while, but I was always really nervous to beat mix and, it took me a while to, to get over that. My first, yeah, my first gigs were, I went to college in St. Louis, but I grew up in Chicago. And the people that lived in St. Louis weren't so into house. And me being from Chicago, house was just like, I mean, that was it. That was like your world. And everybody was into hip hop. And this is the time when like, you know, it's you know, Tone Loke, salt and Pepper, like, you know, like we're talking like you know, mid eighties, but. Yeah, house was so huge in Chicago, and I'd always just, I mean, I'd, I had gigs at like teen clubs and like, you know, 21 and over clubs, and you know, the formula was pretty much, yeah, you gotta cater to what these people wanna hear, and it was a lot of like rap and kind of mainstream stuff, but I'd always try to play house, and it's like the last hour of the night, and I'm like, okay, I'd try to mix in as much house as I could. I'd mail order house records, you know, all the time, and I'd never really get to play them out, but it was really funny trying to play a lot of this stuff at some mainstream kind of normal, you know, boring clubs and, you know, whatever like outskirts of the Midwest. I just put myself in the place of the people that go out. It's like, I want to be an escape from whatever their drama is, whatever's going on in their life. I just want to provide a good time and I want to like give them a break from whatever the hell's going on in their world. And so for me personally, it's like, you, just, you better rock it or, you know, get the F out. <laughs> Wow, it's amazing, yeah. I mean, everybody kind of comes together for this common purpose to just to get down to this music. And honestly, it's like if I thought about it while they're coming because it's me that's the guy that's performing, that would make me even weirder than I already am. And yeah, it's it's an amazing thing. It's just, I don't know, in my life, it's like, you know, I can, you can choose so many different paths, but for me, all I ever wanted to be was a DJ and the music that I heard growing up touched me so much. It's like, I didn't care, I have a degree, but I could care less to pursue that. It's like. I just wanted to throw myself out there and you get so much back as a DJ to like give people a good time. It's just all about, it's about sharing that feeling. It's like house is a feeling and it's like it's just about sharing it with people and it's not about ego, it's not about you're this and you know, everybody look at me. It's just about sharing that with everybody and that's the beauty of it. Yeah, I mean it's a crazy world we're living in but I feel like house music is, you know, I mean it's, it's, it's therapeutic for me. Like, I don't know, like no matter what's going on in my life, I know that, you know, this music you know, always I have a home in this music and it means so much to me. I guess I'm more trying to wrap a beat around you and a feeling around you and I'm very aware of that feeling the whole time and I'm not ever wanting to play with that feeling really because I want you to feel good and I want people to be able to go with me on a journey.